Peter Obi is gaining popularity daily with young people in our country. Yes, the young people are not the traditional voting block. Before, we used to be between the devil and the deep blue sea, between APC and PDP. You don't have other option than to either vote for PDP or APC or you climb a fence. Hello guys, hello people, my people, wonder shall never end. Hey, when I see these people, the way that they talk, say nobody, they support Peter Obi. <laughs> and when I know so is still come outside, I will just play video for Una. I get not a, not a nice video, which is the Arewa's videos, where the for talk say, they don't go follow uh, religion again. They don't they follow all these things again. They just want person who go call repair this country for them so i go play that video and i will still play the video of all these people we did for talk they don't the way they don't take the confirm say peter will be crowd <laughs> nobody need to deal with with the crowd now natural supporters now peter will be get you know get people we buy just like tinubu where they pay money or pada no he get supporters from the heart all of us can because we don't suffer too much for this country. I go make una watch this video. I don't know so about sec about video no day here, but una know so about sec talk and say the way will be supporters stay strong, the way they take day. If APC and PDP not take care, uh, these people will take over. We already don't take over. So I go want make una watch this video till the end. Watch this video till the end. No skip. My name is Jama First Lady. Like, subscribe, and drop your comment under the comment section below. Bye-bye, guys. A do state governor, Godwin Obaseki, has raised the alarm over the impact of the obedience movement and the effect on the ruling party and the PDP as the 2023 presidential election approaches. Uh, this has also been echoed by some other politicians who feel the movement is gaining momentum. How are you reading this, uh, these political dynamics as the elections approach? You see, um... Peter Obi is gaining popularity daily with young people in our country. Yes, the young people are not the traditional voting block because the elderly usually outvote young people. Young people for so long in our country had been apolitical, interested only in music, entertainment, and the rest. But answers change a lot of things. And a lot of these young people that you see with Obi now, they are products of the answers from a lot of them are hungry. I'm not saying only the answers people are with Obi, there are some Nigerians. Who did not really get involved during the NSAS protest, but who see OB as the finest of all evils. Politicians have seen as representing evil, but they see OB as better than other evils. So they think OB is like a new broom that will help sweep away the problems that they are facing in the country. And interestingly, a lot of the entertainment people who also played an active part during the um, NSAS group are supporting it today. What the governor of Edo said is true, a very large extent. A lot of young people are disappointed in both the APC and the PDP. They don't want to hear the names of those political parties. They believe that those two parties have not done well for us as a people, as a country. A lot of these young people think that they don't have a future. They believe that with the APC and the PDP, nothing significant will change. That is the point that 
the governor of Edo State is echoing that. Look, ah. in every home, you have someone who belongs to the obedience movement. Without being a movement, whether we like it or not, I may not be a supporter. I may not approve of his method. But we have to admit that Vita B is already a movement in our country. And you can see that the young people appear to trust him more than they trust those that they believe represent the old order. It's just these young people expressing their anger in their own way. You can see that uh, the Minister of Works, Pastor told them that not to vote with anger. He wants them to calm down and do a lot of uh, uh, soul searching, a lot of prospection before voting. But anger can push people to sometimes take the best decision. Anger can also make people to take the worst decisions. As far as these young people are concerned, it is Obi or nobody else. And you can see, they dominate the social media. You can see how a pastor who appeared to be making a cryptic response, I mean, cryptic um, um, not really dive. The pastor appeared to be making what appeared to be a cryptic reference to Peter Obi. They harassed him, they bullied him, and he had to uh, remove the feet. He had to delete the feet. Pastor Poggi, can you imagine? That's the Obi movement at work. Whether this movement can translate to victory or Obi is the question whose answer is blowing in the wind. They will need to do a lot more to deliver victory to their candidate. Yes, a lot of them are getting their PVCs. They are showing greater interest in politics than before. And it's the same thing that the NLC is doing. The NLC is saying that they believe that it is only uh, Peter Obi that can uh, make things happen for them. And the NLC at this time, they are mobilizing their people to support Peter Obi. But the NLC too needs to do a lot more. Yeah. Even the yeah. nature of politics yeah. in our country, you have to make sure that your structures are everywhere. You have to be present across the country. You cannot Absolutely. Uh, yield grant to the opponent. You don't know, deliberately yield grant to the opponent by not being present in certain yeah. places. That will make it difficult yeah. for you to win. So the OB, um, the OB train is real. The OB movement is real. And everything that the governor of uh, those states said is true. Yeah. Those right, young Bikin, people. Now, the Northern Youth Coalition for OB, in collaboration with Movement for Transparent Government, have called on Nigerian youth to vote a presidential candidate that will salvage the economic and educational systems of the country. The coalition organized a lecture in Kaduna titled Youth Led Pathway to Social and Political Change, Faith and Service in Contemporary Northern Nigeria. The aim of the lecture was to awaken the youth's political consciousness. Plus TV correspondent Habila Dorofai's report is presented from our studios. Youths from the 19 northern states meet in Arewa House, Kaduna. Their desire to change the narrative of politics in the coming elections. They say youths should vote for any candidate without ethnic and religious bias. Speaking, the northern coordinator of the group, Jamilu Abdullahi Sufu, say youths will make their choice based on integrity, competence, and ability to solve problems. 94% of Nigeria lost confidence in the way the, the, the present administrations that are ruling this country. So uh, if that will show that, that will show you that this time around is not about tribalism, it's not about uh, sentiment, it's not about uh, religious. 
affiliations is about competency. So we are going to look, we are looking at a candidate that can bring a desired change that will change the situations of the economy. What happens, why do we have excess amounts of kidnapping, banditry in the north? Because the economy of the country is bad. Also, the vice chairman of the Northern Coalition, Zuberi Mohammed, says over time politicians have taken youths for granted. He said the situation can only be improved with the emergence of political leadership that can guarantee the future. When you desire change, it will come with the list of how you want to make the change. Before, we used to be between the devil and the deep blue sea, between APC and PDP. You don't have other option than to either vote for PDP or APC or you climb a fence and sit on it.